Hiya. Hello. Welcome to the Geeky Girls Knit and Cross Stitch Podcast. I'm Cece, also known as Draw the Pearl. I'm Dammy, also known as Dammy Doodles. And we're glad to have you today. Today is Thursday, the 26th of December, 2019. Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Pink, do you have any boxes? I have one. Ah, ah, ah. Um, and this is episode 376. We'd like to say... Yes. We'd like to say... I shredded my needle. Oh, I was like, what? Uh, we'd like to say a big welcome back. We love you guys. To all our returning viewers, Anubikaya, to any new viewers, thanks for giving us a shot. We hope you enjoy the show. Um, Dami, we have quite a few things to talk about today, being that yesterday was... Christmas. Christmas. Um, so... Oh, we didn't... I didn't ask you that, um, what if somebody is not a member of our Ravelry group. What should they do and why? You should join and introduce yourself in our introductions thread because you will get a shout out on our next episode and you'll be able to participate in all our Long Zane giveaways. That's right. Well, with that, I think we're ready to get started. So here we go. Now we're going to talk about what's on her needles. Yes. So I have cast on, and you can see it right here in my hand because I'm knitting it. Um, a pair of slippers for my bestie Katie's oldest son, Noah. Yes, I'm very behind because these are a Christmas gift that are not done. Um, I am using the Bed Peds pattern by Yvonne Mendelssohn, except for I have converted it. Oh gosh, I feel like there's something in my eye. I have converted it to be a toe up pattern. And so instead of trying to read through all of my scribbles on the, uh, on the pattern, I typed up the notes. Mm -hmm. Over here somewhere. Here we go. I just typed up what I did, and that way I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm using US 5s, 3.75 mil, and US 7s, 4.5 mil needles. And I'm using Knitology Glowing Worsted in the Pachyderm colorway, and Red Heart Soft in the Light Gray Heather colorway. <laughs> and um, this is a pumpkin glass stitch marker from Ann Tudor. Mm -hmm. And I know it's not autumn anymore, but when's the wrong time for a pumpkin? Never. So this is the first slipper. Um, I will. I'm. I'm going to get these done and get in them in the post. Well, no, I'm going to. After I finish these, I'm going to knit Izzy's birthday socks because his birthday's at the end of January. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out what on earth I did. I don't know. Oh, it's because you were going down. Now you're having to go up. Yes, but then I just did this one weirdly where it was parallel. I this is I guess this is why I should not stop in the middle of a like uh, line. Um, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so I will get all of this in the post to them soon. -ish. Soon. I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks I will be able to finish these and Izzy's birthday socks and get it all in the mail. So, um, that's the only thing on my needles right now. So we should move on to the next segment. And now we're going to talk about her finished projects. Yes. Any? Yes, two. Um, okay, so the slippers I just talked about, these are the ones for Izzy, for Katie's youngest son. And, um... So I did a rolled cuff at the top of these. The ones for Noah will have just a ribbed cuff in the gray. And that way they can tell them apart because they're fairly close in size. So um, so I finished those. And then I also finished this week's Premie hat, number 51 for the year. Wow. One more to go. Uh, this is from my free top-down Premie hat pattern that you can find on Ravelry. I used US 6's 4 mil needles. And the yarn is Big Twist Sincerely Ombres in the Cupcake Confetti colorway, and Lion Brand Heartland in the Glacier Bay colorway. So there we go. So one more to go for this year, and I will have done my 52. I am pretty sure that there's 53 Sundays next year. Mm -hmm. So um, I will continue on with that. That's everything I finished. Gosh, we don't have very much knitting content today, do we? Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, but we do have cross-stitch content, so we should move on to the next segment. <laughs> And now it's time for Floss Tube. Go for it, Dammy. 
Wow. You know what they do on floss tubes when you have a finished project? Mm -hmm. They ring a bell. I, we don't need to. Uh, no, but I was just going to say ding. Okay. Um, Ta-da, Every Day is an Adventure by Joe Ann's Fabrics. Yes. So we will FFO it. Yeah. Which is fully finished. It. <laughs> so since you finished that, what are you working on now? Okay. Because apparently I have I have created a cross stitcher. Okay, I'm gonna show this from far away so you can't see it, but these are Pokemon. There's no good picture of it. Like finished. oh okay. So um, but it's Vulpix and Nine Tails. So I've been told I don't know Pokemon, um, and the link to the pattern. Well, to the shop it's in the show notes okay are you gonna show them what you've done <gasps> wow look look i'm almost to the top there are two separate little um squares that each of the pokemon are in and i've, I've told her to make sure and count and count and count and count again to make sure you don't mess up because otherwise you'll have to either fudge it or rip out a lot so. well, i mean i can fudge it i can like take out one row either side but like I've got the right stitches okay so far so yeah I'm gonna do all the borders first and then I'll get to the, all the fun colors so let me see okay so that does get stitched with white mm-hmm um, well you know what you could do because you are stitching on white fabric is not stitch the white but I got snowball not snowball Yes, Noble. Uh, blanc. You got Blanc. You don't have to. I was just saying, if you don't want to stitch the white, you don't have to because you're on white fabric. Okay. So, just throwing that out there. But they, like, have little white bits in their eyes. I mean, you could always do the, just the stuff in the eyes, but not do the, the background. Mm. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing it out there. So, yeah, I'm going. I'm waiting for my haunted mansion kit for my friend to ship out. Has it shipped yet? It is not, but it's okay because the person said it's holidays shipping. Oh, okay. Wait, so. Okay. So. Cool. All right, anything else about cross stitch you would like to discuss? People who do cross stitch and embroidery. Do you find embroidery similar? It's the same kind of stitches, but you don't have the holes. So you have to kind of figure out where it has to go. Yeah. So sometimes it's pre-printed and sometimes it's free-handed. I'm not good at it. Oh. It's the same problem that I have with crochet. I can't figure out where the hook goes. <laughs> Whereas with knitting and with cross stitch, the whole, the stitch is there. So. so, yeah, I'm going to be stitching these frames, and then I'll get to the actual colorful parts. Okay, here's my question for you. All right. Do you find, are you enjoying cross-stitch more than knitting? Well. Yeah. There's times and places for everything. But it's fine. I don't care if you like cross-stitch more. That's fine. I stopped cross-stitching for, like, 14 years, and now I'm back to it. So you might find the same thing. You might want, you might end up where you want to do both. You may do cross stitch at some times of the year and knitting at the other times of the year. It's all right. And since we're now geeky girls knit and cross stitch, we're all good. We got it all covered. So, okay. Are you ready for me to talk about my stuff? Yeah. I just realized I did not get my um, notebook up for my school of magical stitches and literature stuff. But I did... Finished all the homework last week. I think it was the second time ever that I finished all the homework. And I'm on track to finish the homework for this week. Um, problem? I can't remember how the stitches go. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's 500 stitches this week. And I think I'm sitting at... Like between 350 and 400. Nice. So um, I will get that done without 
any problem. Okay, so first up, oh, well, the first up, let me talk, well, I'll have to put images on the screen for you because I've already gifted it. So Chicken Joy, this is a pattern uh, by uh, Priscilla and Chelsea of the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch, and I stitched this on a navy blue 14 count Ada. Um, Ada using all the called for colors except for the green because it was too dark for the fabric um and so i chose a little a little brighter green um and then i finished it on sticky board and then i hot glued it to this mason jar uh that i had gotten from michael's when they did their autumn um clearance uh and it has lights in it and I gifted it to my friend Mel, and she was in love, and she carried it around like a baby the whole time I was there. Oh, my goodness. Because she loved it so much. So, um, I have another one of the jars. Uh, so, the one I did for her is kind of a orangey-brown jar, and I bought one of the kind of turquoise jars. Um, and I was trying... I, I, I know I don't want to stitch Chicken Joy for myself, but um, we were talking about it at Stitching Group the other night, and I think what I'm going to do... Um, let me find it. So this is Olga, which is a pattern by Plum Street Samplers. Oops. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to not throw my Screen. stuff in the floor. Is I'm going to stitch it without the alphabet and change um, one of the colors to, to coordinate with the color of the jar. And Dammy said I should change the colors of the cat to make it like pink pearl. Yeah, so a light brown and a darker brown. And then I probably will change out something to be the actual color pink as well. But then mount it on a jar, on the jar. Um, so that's what I'm thinking for that. Um, okay, so I finished that. And then I'm working on my Country Cottage Needleworks Countdown to Christmas, which has been my vlogmas project for this year. Here's the finished project, what it was supposed to look like. And I... M. Done with all 25 squares. What? One a day. So, I'm going to keep working on this because I do vlogmas all the way through the end of the month. So, what my plan is, is I'm going to stitch this red and white border today. And then I'll do the other red and white border on fri Friday. And then Saturday through the end of the month, I'll just work on the houses and see how uh, much I can get done. Um, I was at Joanne's the other day um, getting some stuff and I looked at their uh, Christmas clearance and I actually found a, um, a wall hanging piece that is uh, already painted and everything that is the right size for that finished. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of funny because I was like looking it up on my phone to get the stitch count to put into the app to tell me how big the finished piece was. And then I had, I don't have it on today, but I had took off the tape measure bracelet I was wearing and was measuring it in the store. I also bought a piece um, that I will finish the... Um, my Christmas list, my Silver Creek samplers on. My goal is to have that done uh, in time for next Christmas. Um, but I went ahead and bought those two finishing pieces because they were on sale for like, I think 70% off or something. So, and I got a few other small things to like use on them. Um, so yeah, I, I ended up saving $81 that day. So that tells you how big a sale it was. So there's that. And then the other thing I'm working on, uh, this is a pattern called It's You I Like. Um, I don't have a picture of the finish, but I'll, sh I'll show you the, I finished one already. So it was done by Diana of It Is Kismet Stitches and Michelle Bindi Stitchy. And it says, this simple phrase was written by Fred Rogers of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. According to the Fred Rogers Center, the song tells you that you do not have to look or act a certain way. People can love you just as you are. This song reminds you, too, that you should care for others in the same way. So it's um, been going around the stitching community for, I don't know when, when, it, when they first did it. But um, what I did was I bought 
some of these bookmarks. Charles Craft. It's 14 count Ada, 10 and 5 eighths inches by 2 inches. It came with a with a pattern on the back, but I'm not doing that. But I bought a few of these because I'm going to stitch a few of these for some friends. Um, and so I stitched one last night. It was a super fast stitch. Uh, and this is a... Oh, I can't remember what the colorway is. It's a DMC Variations um, floss. And it was super fast to stitch. I haven't decided. So the back... Oh, how funny. It's like mirroring it. Oh my gosh. Um, so I haven't decided if I just want to just like leave it like this. Or I bought some, uh, I bought a big piece of, um, of the paper from Joann's, you know, like the scrapbooking mm -hmm. paper. And what I was thinking is I could cut a piece that's big enough that not including the um, little bobbly things on the end. Bobbly. But a piece big enough to cover the back. And then I got some double-sided tape. And I could put that on if I want to hide the the back. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do that. But um, I so that's the first one, and then I have floss to do three other ones. So one of them is going to be Weak Style Works uh, in the uh, Jack O' Lantern colorway. It's a variegated, and then I've got the DMC Etoile C550, which is another purple, and this is DMC Variations 4220. So it's more of a lavender uh, variegated. So, I like that one. yeah, they're they're all really pretty colors. So, um, yeah, but that was a super fast stitch because it was only, let's see, 128 stitches, and so that does not look like 128. It is. Stitches are fake. It's 128 stitches. How? It just is. I mean, well, like the squares on my countdown to Christmas, each of those is the, the just the square itself is 68 stitches. How? The miracle of cross stitch. I don't know. <laughs> this, this is 50 stitches. Yeah. You can count them if you want to. <clears throat> I keep talking. Or do you want this because it's probably easier to count it on here? So that's one finished. Um, I have three more that I'm going to do. Um, and then, like I said, School of Magical Stitches is still going on. Um, I've gotten sorted already for next year's uh, challenge, and it's Disney-related villains and the Disney villain series and the... Oh, what's the other one? Anyway, there's two Disney book series. Was I right? I didn't even, I got halfway, I got to 50 and I was like, how? I know. So, um, I got sorted into the beach resort. So I have already prepped, uh, some of my stuff, uh, to get ready for that starting middle of next week. So that's Almost 2020. I know next, th this time next week, it'll be 2020. Um, okay, I think that's everything for floss tube. I do have some cross stitch content in yummies though, so stick around. And now it's time for our favorite part of the show, yummies. What are yummies, Dammy? Yummies are our current favorite things, things we like, things we want to talk to you about. Yummies. So first up, what I want to show you is I won a giveaway from the Stitching with the Sisterlies floss tube. And uh, my prize is this beautiful uh, art by Teresa Kogut, which I'm linking her website in the show notes. So it's this beautiful angel named Grace. And it says, one who loves a pure heart and who speaks with grace will have the king for a friend. Proverbs 22, 11. It's so pretty. Yeah. I can't decide if I want to find a frame for it or if I just want to hang it up like this. But it's beautiful. Frames get glare. You could take the glass out. One of my favorite things is the hymns that are behind the text. Rejoice ye pure in heart. Ha 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 ha. Very, very cool. So, thank you so much to Teresa uh, for creating this beautiful piece of art and to 
uh, the stitching with the Sister Lee's Floss Tube for uh, doing the giveaway. All right, Dammy, it is Christmas time. Yeah, second day of Christmas. Yep, so do Two you... Two turtle doves. Do you want to show some of your stuff? Sure. Um, your floss is about to fall. Santa got me some stuff. A cat coloring book. Do you want to see where this came from? Uh, this is Bertram Bellrose's Feline Fantasia. So when I did that show over on Bainbridge Island, the lady in the booth next to me uh, had these. Uh, that I believe it was her brother-in-law is the one that did the art. Find my favorite one, too, and show it. Uh, it was towards the very back. Yeah, but they duplicated. That one? No. No. That one? No. That, that one. one. Many cats. Yeah. So, yeah, I saw that and I was like, <laughs> okay, Santa must get this. <laughs> Someone got me the physical copy of the translation of War and Peace that I like. And it's got the footnotes and translations actually at the bottom of the page. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you don't have to, like, flip back to the appendix to be like, okay, what do they say here? Yeah. You can just look at the bottom of the page. I told her I didn't know how she was going to read it because it looks so heavy. Like, I would feel like as I'm reading, I would just be like... Uh, I'll lay it flat on... A desk like this. Oh, that's not how I read. I read in bed mostly. So. And his sister had to refuse. Prince Andre, and and all of that. Princess Maya saw the will of Providence. Okay. Oh, that's a card. Um, someone got me things from Karen Hallian. So let me show mine too. Go ahead. I'll show my Karen Hallian things too. This is an aerial print which a book, which a, with a bunch of fun things in the background. This is a Carrie Fisher print. Um, and Santa also got Dammy and I both these stickers. Ask us about our feminist agenda with, um, okay, let's see if we can name everybody. There's Leia, Wonder Woman, Hermione. Um, is it, which one of the Skylar sisters is it? Angelica and Merida and no clue. Peggy Carter. Oh, okay. I, I would, I know who Peggy Carter is. I would not have gotten that from that. Um, and then I also got uh, Belle going into the TARDIS with her book down there. I'll take these out of these things. And Gilbert and Anne. He just looks so bemused. He was teasing her, and she covered his mouth. He looks resigned to his fate. <laughs> He's in love with her. That's the deal. <laughs> I like her outfit in that picture. Yes, it's a very beautiful outfit. And then Santa also got Wait, me. Wait, do you know that that outfit is then the one w that she ended up all muddy because she fell in the in the pasture trying to get the cow out of the field, That and it wasn't really her cow? No. Yes. And Santa also got me this, because Santa knows how much I love lists. What the frick am I doing? Heck if I know. Today, tomorrow, and next week, and with, with my, my life. life. <laughs> so yeah, I was running out of kitty paper from Yuko. So. From Honey Honeyberry Studios. Uh, yes, Santa saw this and was like, damn, he needs this. You also got the uh, songbook to Waitress the Musical. Yes, vocal selections. And then Dammy got this for me. Who's this, that? A Santa. This beautiful Anne of Green Gables t-shirt. It's the cover cover. Yeah, I was going to show them this. The Puffin in Bloom edition. So this is the tag of it. So the company is called Out of Print, but I just love that it's an old library card. Um, print on there and they say what we do we scour library stacks and dusty bookstores to find the classics and curiosities that end up on our products everything we make is printed and treated to feel like your favorite book that one you have read 11 times I have read my book probably favorite book probably 57 gazillion times our mission help us share the gift of reading each purchase helps to fund literacy programs and book donations to communities in need did you feel how soft this is mm-hmm Oh, it's so soft. 
I think I'm going to wear it to go see the new Star Wars tomorrow. It's not Star Wars. I don't care. I want to wear my new shirt. Wow. So uh, that, um, I also have on the way to me, because I was gifted some <gasps> mo some monies, um, I have a new pair of, <gasps> what's wrong? Not. Oh. I have a new pair of Allbirds shoes coming. I am so in love with my sneakers from them that I decided to get a pair of the slip-on ones because sometimes you don't need uh, shoes that tie. Sometimes you just need slip-ons. But I like... I've made my shoes that tie slip-ons because I wear them every day and don't wear any other pair of shoes. Mm. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hi, Pinky. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? But I love how much support they give my feet and with the Can issues. They give emotional support. They are very soft with wool inside. <laughs> and I love that the company, I know I've talked on here before about it, but I love that this company offers you a 30-day guarantee. You can wear the shoes for 30 days, and if you're not happy with them, you can still return them. So um, that's how... Um, confident they are in their product so those are on the way I got a shipping notice this morning nice. so I wasn't able to get the color I originally wanted Ow. which was more of a dark pink raspberry garnet kind of color they didn't have it any left in my size and it was a limited edition so I don't think they'll get that color back so I ended up getting kind of a um, charcoaly gray because most of my clothes have that in it so gray goes with everything yeah truth so um those are on the way um I any, myself. i'm sorry i've done that um uh, anything else we want to say about christmas it was just a quiet pink got a catnip porg yes she loves it and her other christmas gift is on the way erg for shippers who don't follow through on their shipping date that they're supposed to um the dr hubs made from scratch chicken fried steak we ate the rest of it for leftovers. He made the cow himself. Yes. He's sitting back here behind <laughs> us and he's like... <laughs> um, and then we also had mashed potatoes and gravy and macaroni and cheese and Hawaiian sweet rolls and dark chocolate brownies. Oh, we, we need still to... have those. I know. We need to also eat the pumpkin things that I brought home from Stitching Group. Oh, yeah. Um, one of the ladies in our group made these... They're kind of like whoopie pies, um, I guess, and they're pumpkin... And then like a cream cheese something filling. It's so good. I had one while we were there. And she was like, I don't want to go home with any. So I brought home some. Oh, several of us brought home the extras. So it was nice. It was it was just, uh, it's been a nice, quiet Christmas. So, and tomorrow we will go see, as is our tradition, because we, um, we over the last few years have made it more about being present versus presents. I mean, there still are presents, obviously, but, um, yeah. So our tradition has become to go see a movie at the cinema together and go out for a meal together. Um, we don't go to the cinema very often, maybe a couple of times a year. So this is, it's a special event when we do that. So we're going to go see the new Star Wars movie. Uh, the Rise of Skywalker. We've been rewatching the other movies, which we'll talk about in the other. We have less. Yeah, to finish rewatching before tomorrow. I've seen The Force Awakens multiple times. I think I've only seen The Last Jedi the once in the theater. In the theater. Um, I've avoided spoilers successfully. I have been told that I need to bring a box of tissues because it's emotional. And I cry. I cried so hard last night when we were rewatching The Force Awakens. <sighs> Spoiler Dumbledore dies. Because my beloved Harrison, a.k.a. Han Solo, dies. <sighs> the Dr. Hubs is laughing at me. He's not crying. There's no crying in baseball. Um, and then I got... <laughs> That's from a movie. You know. Okay. I got the new issue of Just Cross Stitch uh, magazine in the post. I will say I was very uh, happy this time because it did come in one of those plastic 
sleeves, although there were some pages. I don't know how this happened because I opened it up and there was a couple of pages that were torn. It was very bizarre, but... It might have been, like, I don't know if they would process it like a letter. It might have been when they scanned it. But how are two pages inside of it, inside a plastic sleeve? Yes. Torn. So this is the February 2020 issue of Just Cross Stitch. It's not even January yet. I know. Um, let me just show you a few things that I marked. First up, this is the Warm Winter Wishes by Nancy Greenberg of Pickle, Pickle Barrel Designs. Pickle. How cute is that? Is it a llama or an alpaca? Yes. What does it say? No, it does not. A uh, yalpaca. Whatever it is, it's cute. A yalama. Um, and then this one just screams CC. Tasty Winter Treats by Anna Pavlyuk. Pav Pavlyuk? Pavlyuk. Does that not scream CC? It does. No. That you were reaching for it. I was like, No, I've got I've got Stitcher's forearm. Okay. And then the only other thing I marked was this Valentine's Heart by uh, Lana Randolph. Just this cute little pillow wall hanging. It would be cute to hang like on a doorknob. Um, overall, I was there was not as much in this issue as I have liked in previous issues that I have. Um, there, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, there it is. Just cross stitch. I brought it to Stitching Group the other night so everybody could flip through it to see if they wanted uh, to buy their own copy. So this is the kitty kit that I got that I need to stitch and bead before next Christmas. I kind of like that one too. Polar Bear and Mousy. Bear Polar. Warmest Holiday Wishes. I can't read what that says up there. It's uh -huh. to the mark. No, something. <clears throat> the mark of this season can be found on the on the can be found in all the something beautiful things between us in all the, in all the something beautiful things between us I'm sure it's clearer in the pattern it's just a very small picture of it Okay, so there we go. So there is uh, Just Cross Stitch, February 2020. Um, do we have any other stuff for Yummy Sammy? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's talk about hashtag GGK Crafty Pad. What is it, Dammy? It stands for Geeky Girls Knit Crafty Photo a Day Challenge. We have a list of photo prompts for each month, so you take a look at the prompt for that day, take a picture related to it, and post it anywhere you like, but we pick our favorites from Instagram. Um, so we are finishing out our December prompts list, um, and so we've released the January list. So it has stuff about the new year and goals and just, and then just a lot of our normal stuff. So, um, that list is live on our website as well as there's the Google calendar that you can subscribe to, um, as well as on my Instagram. So. Uh, but Dammy, we're about to show them something. What are we going to show them? Two photos from us that we liked and five photos from other people that we liked. Here come the photos. Those are our favorite photos. Great job, everybody. Yay. Um, it's never too late to join in. You take a look at the prompt for the day. What's today's prompt? Silver. Silver. 
Jacopo sees is the silvery gray. Um, you interpret the prompt however you want. We're very cheater friendly on this. You post your picture on Instagram. Make sure in the caption you put hashtag GGK Crafty Pad because that's how we find your photos. If you have a private account on Instagram, you need to make sure that Dammy, Dammy's Doodles, is following you because otherwise we can't see your photos. Mm -hmm. So, um, and yours might get chosen. I have to bicep. Oh, well, you need to be like working out. Ooh, that was my elbow. Um, you have to make sure and take rest. You have to stretch. I don't want to. Well, then you're going to deal with, with pain. I already do. Yeah, me too. Okay, well, I think we're ready to move on to the next segment. talk about what we are reading, watching, and listening to. So what are you reading, Dammy? I'm going to start reading um, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Have you read it before? I want to say so, but I don't remember anything that happens. There's a monster. The side, the side. It's not a monster. Um, but I was looking because there was an edition of Little Women that I owned when I was younger. And I recall that it was like the full set of the three books. And I think it had illustrations and it was paperback and it had deckled pages. But And I wanted to get it again because I want to read Little Women again. Because Little Women came out as a movie, another movie. But I could not find that edition. So I'm like, I don't know which edition to buy now because I want a, one to hold. Because uh, we have it on Kindle, but I want one to hold. You could look at uh, Barnes & Noble. Yeah, but there are also prettier ones. I know, but they have the, the pretty, like, um, hardcover ones mm -hmm. that I think they have that in. Mm -hmm. So. I was just, I couldn't find that, the one I knew I owned. Um, it may not be in circulation anymore. It had all three of them. Deckled pages. Okay, well if anybody out there knows what she's talking about, <laughs> where to locate a set, let us know. Um, okay, and what else are you reading? Uh, the Glass Scientists, which is a webcomic by Sabrina Katungo. Yes, so I assume you are getting your 15 minutes a day in? I'm reading my mind. I'm reading Pink's mind. I'm reading her emotions. I think we are all reading the emotions of others. That does every not count. Point in our lives. That does not count for this. It's Christmas. <laughs> what am I referring to? The October, November, December. Wow, I read along. Okay, so this is coming to a close. So, you need to make sure. By next Tuesday, the 31st of December, that you have finished posting in the uh, season, in the seasonal uh, finish line thread. So for your October, November, December reading, as well as if you did the Modern Mrs. Darcy challenge that you've posted in that thread in our group, because we're recording the podcast next week on Wednesday. So Wednesday morning when we get up, we are going to lock those threads and we will be drawing for the grand prize winners so that we can Ooh, announce them. Better. So, and then uh, hopefully we'll have uh, like the coupon codes and everything sent out before the episode goes live as well. But that is, we want to be able to announce that next week when we record. So make sure, make sure, make sure you get your stuff posted. Um, and we are going to be doing a 2020 challenge, so it'll be the same thing exactly as this year. So there'll be the, um, the four seasonal alongs, there'll be the year long along, and along, 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 along. and also you will be able to earn bonus points by doing the Modern Mrs. Darcy challenge, uh, for 2020. So, um, all the details about all this is in the show notes and in the Ravelry group. And the prizes you can see there as well. And then we will talk about them in detail next week when we award them. Yeah. So, may the odds be ever in your favor. So, 
Um, okay, what I am reading. I'm reading, oh wait, I didn't say, for the along, we don't care what you're reading as long as you're reading, not people's minds. Actually, reading uh, audiobooks do count though. So, okay, um, I finished reading Lagom. Not too little, not too much, just right. The Swedish Guide to Creating Balance in Your Life by Nikki Brantmark. I really want to move there to Sweden. Oh. Yes. You don't speak Swedish. I know, but I really want to move there. If the book is truly accurate to life there, I think I would love to live there. It would be cold there. Yes, it would be cold there. I do better in the cold. It would smell like fish. I do better in the cold than in the heat. What about fish? Uh, fish. <laughs> Let them swim. No, it'll smell like fish. Okay. Well, I'll have to live with it, I guess. Okay. I read, well, actually listened to The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. Yes, the same one from Twilight. Um, the story was interesting. It was just like twice as long as it needed to be. Mm -hmm. I was like, why did it take 17 hours to to do, tell the story. It could have been done in about eight. So. Um, my favorite fiction book that I have read this year. Far From the Tree by Robin Binway. Amazing. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Uh, about three biological siblings. Who find out each about each other uh, in their teenage years. And um, the journey that they go through. Um, as well as um, their biological mother, deciding whether to try to find her, all of that. It was so good. Highly recommend it. I finished reading the 35th book in the In-Death series by J.D. Robb, um, and I'm on hold for the 36th book. How does he have so many words? It's a woman. How, do they, how does she have so many words? Uh, she does, and sh that's not all she writes. That's her, that's a pseudonym. No. That's a pseudonym. What is her real name? Uh, real name is J D. Rob. I'm sure somebody's screaming at me. Nora Roberts is her name. She's written more than 225. Uh, romance novels. <laughs> her novels, as of 2011, her novels had spent a combined 861 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. That's that's like, a lot. That's almost three years, kind of. So I'm wondering. I want to know. Okay, three as of March, as of March 2019, she's published 48 novels in the In Death series, and I'm on what did I say 30? I'm waiting for 36. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I am listening to book six in the J.P. Beaumont series by J.A. Jantz. Yeah. And then I am reading the second book in the legacy of, I think it's Orisha, called Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tommy Adeyemi, I believe is how you say it. Um, so I read the first one of these books last year. It was called Children of... Mm, I'll look it up while we're talking. Um, it was recommended to me by my bestie Katie, and it is um, uh, Children of Blood and Bone. That's the first one. Yeah. It was came out in March 2018. Um, so it is a um, West African-inspired fantasy um, series and um, of course magic within it and everything it is it's a really good the first book was really good and I'm enjoying reading the second one as well so um, yeah that's everything I'm reading watching we watched a lot of movies, movies. do you want to talk about the first few while I um, get a drink okay um Star Wars 5 the Empire Strikes Back uh, Star Wars 6, Return of the Jedi, Star Wars 7, The Force Awakens, and then The Polar Express, Holiday Inn, White at Christmas. 
Yes. And then, uh, of course, Hallmark Christmas movies. Such as? Christmas at Dollywood. <laughs> and Dolly was in it. Time for You to Come Home for Christmas. Holiday Date. Christmas in Montana. A Cheerful Christmas. Angel Falls, A Novel Holiday. Hmm. Double Holiday. Christmas on My Mind. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And I'm not done. There's still more to watch. Uh, Not many. We're close. We're close to the end. Well, where are the uh, Hallmark Channel Boxing Day original movies? I don't know, but there is a uh, New Year's movie. So. Um, okay. And then I'm watching Series 7 of Silent Witness. Series 7 of Father Brown. Season 17 of NCIS. Ziva was back. And then I don't know what's this going on. Ziva. The neighbor lady. Yeah. There's more to her than, than we know. Uh, she was the bad person. Yes. Yep. Ah. So, yeah. So she tricked tricked Gibbs and... Uh, Wild him. Yeah. And I feel very sad for her son and what's going to happen. I'm almost to the end of the string, but I only have two stitches left. So I'm not starting another one. Well, I have a tool to be able to pull the end through if you can just get it through the last two stitches. My hand is cramping. So, yeah. She was not what she seemed. And then season six of NCIS New Orleans and season one of The Mandalorian. Baby, Baby Yoda. Yoda. I made uh, I the, heard. Dr. Hubs listen to Dear Baby Yoda. What did you think, Bubba? Wasn't it just? And more. It was heartbreaking. Dear baby Yoda, you're a baby. Um, okay, that's everything we've been watching and listening to. My, hey. fa- my favorite murder podcast. Uh, our CC and Dammy Love Christmas Spotify playlist. What about you? Um, I just, actually, this isn't in the show notes, but frame finished. Need your help now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I discovered a new artist on Spotify called Penny and Sparrow, and they have a song named after a Les Mis character named on each of their albums. So they only have like five right now, but I discovered them, and their other music is good too. So yeah. Well, well you should put that in the show notes so that I can put it in. Also, Captain Pressure. Yes, as always. Always Captain Pressure. I had it all memorized, and I had to listen to the Christmas episode. Yes. Christmas, 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 Christmas. Christmas Day. Um, Okay, well, I think that's everything, so we should move on to the next segment. And now it's time for our December, January, February. Walking in a winter wonderland. Do, 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 do. Al. Yes, tell us about it. So this runs from the 1st of December through the 29th of February. And it's for any project that you can knit, crochet, weave, spin, stitch, or sew that you can convince us is related to winter. If you can't think of anything, you made it in the winter. Um, There are a couple main rules. The first is that no whips are allowed. So you're, you're, well, your project must not have been begun. uh, Your project cannot have been begun earlier than the 1st of December and can be finished no later than the 29th of February. The other main rule is that each project that you knit, crochet, weave, or spin must be at least 20 yards. Um, If your project is not at least 20 yards, you need to group it in a single post with other projects that together total at least 20 yards. Mm -hmm. For, oh wow. Hiccups. It's the coffee. For stitching and sewing projects, we're leaving it up to your best judgment. But if you would like an official ruling you can pm java pearl on ravelry or email us at geekygirlsknit at gmail.com or yes. just like post in the chatter thread if you want to yep know. that's what that's for too um you can feel free to poly dip in other make alongs as long as it fits in with other rules that's totally fine we have lots of lovely prizes on our screen right now thank you so much to our donors if you want to see where these pri- prizes came from um, you can go to our show notes, kikigirlsknit.com, or tune into the first podcast of every month. Uh, if you'd like to donate a prize, you can PM Java Pro and Ravelry or email us at geekygirlsknit at gmail.com. Yes. 
You must be a member of the Geeky Girls Knit and Cross Stitch Podcast Floss Tube group on Ravelry in order to participate. There's a hashtag if you'd like to post on social media or tag your project. It is GGK Winter 1920. Well, we're in the 20s. Um, the thread will be locked on the morning of the 1st of March, and winners will be drawn for the next podcast after that. And any winners will have 30 days to claim their prize or they forfeit. Yes. There is a chatter thread where you can do what I said earlier about asking for a ruling, post your progress, talk to other people. But it's also where I congratulate people who finish projects, but I also do that here. So, A. Bingham. D Door 4, Dragon Rose, Elsa and M, I Now Hour, Falling Star 12, Harps 57, I Knit Socks 2, Joe Dadaya, Carleen Page, Knit Live Love, Knitter Chow, Lil Angel SG2, Lil Mermaid, Mary Beth 1199, Meditative Crafter, Silver Luna 2112, Yarn Taxi Driver, and Yell Cat 2. Great job. Keep working on those projects. You've got a little over two months to get them finished, and you might be a winner. All right, I think we're ready to move on to the next segment. And now it's time for Ask the Geeky Girls, the part of our show where you ask us things, and we try to answer them. That's right. So this week's question is from Penny, who is Penny Gale from Kentucky. How long is your ferry ride, and what is it like? Having grown up very inland, I can't imagine what it's like. I recently took a two-hour ferry from Estonia to Finland, on what seemed like a cruise ship. It had restaurants, casinos, bands, comedians, all over several floors. I've been in a few national parks where a ferry might operate when the creek gets too high. But that was for just a few vehicles at a time. I'm thinking your ferry is somewhere between cruise ship and creek fording, but I'm not sure. Can you paint us a picture? And then she told us that creek means creek, just in case you didn't know. That is not what our fairy is like at all. Either one of them. <laughs> That's so funny. It's, okay, so the ferry that the Dr. Hubs takes every day, or well, weekdays, to work um, will hold around, uh, gosh, I should have looked it up, 190 <laughs> cars. Hey, Siri. And I don't remember how many um, walk on passengers it'll hold, but a lot. Many. Um, oh crud, I can never remember where I have to click to see. Why don't you just go to the Wikipedia page for the Seattle Bremerton Ferry? Well, because it's different for every, um, for every ship. The current ferry from Bremerton to Seattle can hold up to 145 cars. Mm. Um, other, there's, but there's different sized ferries, etc. And then it can hold a lot of walk-on passengers. Um, there is, isn't in most of them, isn't there kind of a little, like, coffee shop type place? Like... There's a galley. Yeah, a galley. But it's not huge, and it's super overpriced. You always stop at Starbucks before you get on the ferry. Um, but yeah, no, it's not fancy. It's not fancy at all. It takes an hour to get from Bremerton to Seattle, unless uh, you get the fast ferry, which will only hold about fifty walk-on passengers. But it breaks down a lot of the time. <laughs> it can hold no cars. And no it's cars. A little boat. It's a little boat. It goes fast. It goes twice as fast as the regular ferry. Yeah. Um, there's also, a, the other ferry that we take most often is between Kingston and Edmonds, and it's a half hour ferry. Um, but a lot of times, like, my doctor is in Shoreline, so instead of taking the seattle Bremerton ferry and then having to drive through Seattle traffic, I'll drive up to Kingston and drive on the ferry, and then, but yeah, no, it is not at all cruise ship-like, it's very plain, um... Yeah. It could be interesting if it was cruise ship like. <sighs> but at least it's not like the um the ferry that operates when the creek gets too high. When the creek gets too high. Mm-hmm. So, did we answer the question? That's kind of that cracks me up because it did like as as you were reading, I was like, that totally sounds like a cruise ship. That sounds like the I've been on a cruise once when I was my senior year of high school. And uh well, that's going country to country, too. Yeah, from Estonia to Finland. So I don't think that is technically a ferry. That, 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 that's what they call it, is a ferry. 
I think there's a ferry. There's a ferry from... That might go from somewhere in the UK to... There's one somewhere... Somewhere in France? There's one that goes from the mainland of Scotland to Shetland Island. Yeah, that's a ferry. Um... I would say going somewhere within the same country over a large body of water is like a ferry, like Seattle to Bremerton or like the Long Island to mainland New York ferries. But like going from country to country, I would say that's a regular sea voyage. But there is a ferry up here that goes from Washington to Canada. Well, Canada doesn't count because it's too close to us. We're on the same continent. Oh, Canada. I was listening to my favorite murder this morning, and it was a, a Canada show. Mm. And it was really funny because she, one of, I think it was Georgia, mispronounced Canada. I can't remember how she said it. but it's Canada. Some, but it's something like how I joke around. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. And she was like, oh my gosh, that's how I joke about it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it made me laugh. Oh, Canada. Bum, 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 okay, bum, we bum. answered the question. Yes. Okay, so uh, thank you for the question, Penny. It gave us a good giggle about fairies. Um, you can, what I, oh, I know what else I was going to say is we don't necessarily have to take a ferry to get across, but the drive around takes, in traffic, it can take two, two and a half hours. Many. So it's much faster. But if the traffic's not bad, it can it, it'll take around the same amount of time as the ferry. So, okay. Um, Dammy, if somebody has a question for us, what should I do? Go to our Ask the Geeky Girls thread in our Ravelry group and post it. Which you need to do because I only think we have one or two questions left. Oh, so dear. So you should go ask us a question and we'll answer anything. We, answer, we've, we have not said no to any question. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. All right, we've made it to the end of the show. Yay. Yay. Okay, some announcements. Next week, episode 377 will release on Thursday, the 2nd of January, because of things, life. Um, So, and then episodes during Dammy's winter university quarter will release on Fridays, unless otherwise notified. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, 31 Days of Christmas is continuing. Mm -hmm. We're still in week four. Mm -hmm. My leg's starting to fall asleep. Um, we're still in week four, which is all fandom patterns are 25% off. That ends on Saturday the 28th. And then the 29th, 30th, 31st, and surprise, first. <gasps> the first. All of our ebooks are on sale for 25% off with the coupon code 31DAYS, all capital letters, 31DAYS. Um, you can use it as many times as you like. It's, yeah. Moy. As you like. I don't know why. As you like it. I'm not sure why it came out that way, but yeah. Um, And then our Random Acts of Kindness is continuing. Uh, It'll continue as we have been doing through Saturday the 28th, where you comment on my Instagram, cc underscore almon, A-L-M-O-N, the post that I post for that day with your Ravelry username and what... Very important, that. Yes, I had one person that I had to redraw because they didn't put the Ravelry username. Uh, as well as what pattern they would like to win from the current sale bundle. However, when we get to the 29th, 30th, and 31st, it's going to be a little different. So what you're going to do, there's still going to be a post each day, and you are going to answer it with your Ravelry username and the answer to the question we ask. I think one of the questions I think was like, what was your favorite thing you did this year? I think one of them is what you'd like to... Uh, what you're looking forward to making in 2020 and was something else the other one was maybe about like learning other crafts or something in that what you said maybe i think so that was yesterday that was yesterday um so just make sure and read and answer the question and then what we'll do each of those three days we're going to randomly draw somebody and then on the first of january we will randomly draw from each of those three days winners the person who's chosen will win all 10 of our ebooks. Wow. And the other two winners will win an ebook of their choice. So, and you can enter each day. So, um, make sure and don't miss out on that because I think this is the biggest giveaway we have ever done. 
where, where you can um, win all 10 of our ebooks. So, um, I'm continuing to do Vlogmas over on our YouTube channel all the way through the end of the month. Um, end of the month? End of the month. Well, because we do 31 Days of Christmas, so I just do it through the end of the month. So, uh, make sure and check that out. Do we have any other announcements, Nami? I don't think so. All right. So, we'd like to say a huge thank you. We love you guys. Thank you, everyone who supports our podcast, no matter how it is you do it. Um, but an especially big thank you to those of us, those of you who support us financially, because unfortunately it does cost money to do a podcast. Um, it does. Shipping, technology, behind the scenes stuff, it does. Um, so if you are inclined to want to support the podcast financially, there's three ways you could do that. First is Patreon, which is a site where you pledge a certain amount of money each month to your favorite creatives and you earn rewards based on your uh, donation level. Um, Dammy, if they would like to know more about that or would like to sign up, where should they go? Patreon.com slash Geeky Girls Knit. What's another way? There is a PayPal button in the sidebar of our website if you would like to make a one-time donation. And we are Amazon.com, .co.uk, and .ca affiliates. If you will go to our website, GeekyGirlsKnit.com. And look either in the sidebar or at the bottom of the show notes and click on your appropriate Amazon link. Um, and then do your shopping as normal. We will earn a little money back based on what you purchase. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it's a great way to support the podcast by doing something you would be doing anyway. Yeah. Um, okay, Dabby, why don't you tell them where they can find us online? You can find us at geekygirlsknit.com. There, there are links to everywhere else you can find us online. YouTube, iTunes, Ravelry, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. That's right. Well, with that, we're going to tell you goodbye. We hope you have a great rest of 2019 and a great start to 2020. <laughs> um, next week, too, we can talk about, like, um, our 2019 crafting and review and if we have any goals for 2020. Oh, Lord. Maybe we'll do that instead of an Ask the Geeky Girls question next week. Okay, we'll do that. Because um, that's always fun. I always like looking back to see what I've accomplished. Uh, you learned a whole new craft. I did. So. Um, and you are learning more and more about your other craft. Yeah. Of acting. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, happy holidays. And uh, we yep. we will be back with you. Dammy is fighting with her cross stitch. She's making nuts. Your thread might be too long. Well, too bad. Because I'm going to keep using it. Okay. Um, until next week, happy holidays, happy crafting, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne. We'll take a cup of kindness yet for old Lang Syne. Can you say goodbye to them, Pinky? You want to turn around to the camera? Hi. <laughs> say, say Happy New Year, people. Happy New Year. Happy Kiss Christmas. Kiss the New Year, baby. I can't reach her to give her kisses. Sorry. She's snarling at you. <laughs> No more kisses. Kiss the New Year's baby. I kissed her foot. Happy New Year. <laughs>